Wake up and smell the roses. <sighs> What's up, folks? This is a new segment called Throwback Thursday. Got an old barn back here behind me. And look what I found inside. Who would have thought? Bruce Springsteen, greetings from Asbury Park, New Jersey. How cool is that? Well, guess what? It's Throwback Thursday. Splash City! Obadiah, the prophet. Obadiah chapter 1 starts out like this. The vision of Obadiah, thus says the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a report from the Lord, and a messenger has been sent among the nations, saying, Arise and let us go up against her for battle. The prophet Obadiah, in the book of Obadiah, has wrote poetry to describe how God is going to judge the Edomites, the people of Edom. Who are the people of Edom, you might ask? Well, they're direct descendants of a man named Esau. And if you remember, Esau had a twin brother named Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. And their father's name was Isaac. And their dad's name was Abraham. The father of many nations. So in Obadiah, God's going to tell Obadiah through the Holy Spirit to prophesy against Edom and what they've done when Israel gets taken captive by the Babylonians. Oh, I didn't spell that right. Whoops. Okay, so you know what I mean. Babylon's going to come in. They're going to take Israel captive. And the Edomites, who are family members to the Israelites, are going to let this happen. Not only that, are they not going to come in and help their family members out? They're going to sit back in their high hills and be prideful and let all these other nations abuse and use Israel for their pleasure and to plunder them. Edomite... The Edomites are going to do the same thing. Edom's going to go in and they're going to take things from the temple and take things from Israel that they want and that they think they deserve. And that is directly related to how Jacob and Esau acted towards God and how they were taught to act towards God by Isaac and how Isaac was told to act towards God by Abraham. And what happens is, is that even though you have the same grandfather and the same, the same great-grandfather or the same distant relative, it doesn't always make you a child who follows what God has to say. So Israel, God is going to let this happen. He's going to destroy Jerusalem, and he's going to let Babylon take the Israelites captive. But Edom, on the other hand, God is going to judge, and he is going to let them be destroyed like many other nations after them because of their false gods, their pride, their idolatry, they're not, they weren't willing to help Israel out in their time of need. And all of this is a giant picture of the day of the Lord where God's justice is going to prevail and everyone who is not abiding by what he said to abide by in his laws, which is to love God first and to love your neighbor as yourself, which is what the Israelites are supposed to be doing. He's going to judge them and he's going to condemn them for their actions, whether in this life or when this life ends in the judgment, in eternity. Thank you so much. See you soon. Okay, I'm totally bound to make it this time. Well, let's just go in. <sighs> Take nine. Huh? Throwback Thursday! Splash City! Throwback Thursday! Making a splash! Making a splash! <sighs> Here we go. Going in. Throwback Thursday! Splash! This is a Throwback Thursday splash. Tonight's question is, on this picture that I'm about to show you, 
How many days has it been since I took that picture and we started FBC Kids down here in the basement? Here it comes. Whoop! The winner is going to get ice cream for the whole family. So this is what I want you to do. One family who gets the closest or exactly how many days it's been since we've started the children's ministry down here in the basement with all the new stuff is going to get the ice cream of their choice. So here's what I need you to do. Text me your family's favorite ice cream and also how many days you think it's been since we've started FBC Kids. Thanks, and I'll see you next week. Yeah, throwback Thursday. Oh, <laughs> finally made it! Look at that! Flash in the bucket. Booyah!